Free beer and hot wings in the morning. Grand Rapids rocks all day. 97.9 GRD rocks. Sunny today, 48. 48. Yeah, that's awesome. That's but better than I thought it was going to be. A cool start now. It was 19 this morning when I started up the truck. Yeah, it was. It yeah. was. Yeah, it was clear Oof, skies I last cried. night. Chilly. Was terrible. Terrible. Oh, but hey, we're so close. You should see how white I am. I need sunshine. Yeah. I don't need to see you. I can mm-hmm. see me. Yeah. yeah. I have lights and mirrors and eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but what you hold a tan really well, man. Only from like here, it's farmer's tan. Oh, is it? To a degree. Yeah, my belly is pretty white. When's the last time your belly saw sun? Last summer. Oh, okay. Like, I went to the beach with you and your family. Had a good time. Uh, I didn't want to take my shirt off, man. I didn't that day either. No, I think we both had the same feeling like, uh, I'm not doing this in front of him. No, I don't. I, I rarely do anymore anyway. One, because I, I, I body shame myself, but also because now, because, like, I have so many freckles and, um, mm-hmm. you know, beauty marks is what my mom used to call them. Nipples. Um, but, you know, the dark <laughs> spots on my skin. I look, spots. Like, I look I look like a, a photo negative of a constellation map. And so I now I keep a little more covered up because I'd rather my skin didn't <laughs> deteriorate and fall off. <laughs> that is part of it. Because I, uh, you know, I, I haven't gone in a couple of years. But for a while, I was going every year to a dermatologist just to make sure that none of them were weird. <laughs> Did you not have shirts when you were kids? Uh, we didn't wear. You, you were on. just the kids that were out with no shirt on all the time? Because you got a lot of uh, no shirt, like no, sunspots. Yeah, no shirt, no shoes. Yeah. Um, like I said, growing up in the trailer park was fun because you never had to wear a T-shirt. You had a rat tail. Mm-hmm. And I never yeah. had to wear shoes. But the problem is, yeah. I guess this one doesn't really count anymore. Oh, yeah. Um, I am covered in freckles. Oh, yeah. Yours are, yeah, yours are like freckle freckles. And as soon as the sun hits, it gets nuts. Does it? Oh, yeah. I but yeah. look how gross this is. <laughs> two years. I had my shirt off one time in two years. That is, uh, it's that is bad. outside, you mean? Yeah, well, yeah, I, I take a shower, but I'm not the type of guy now where I can just walk Wait, around my shirt yeah. off. Like, if you meet someone and you have sex, are you going to have your shirt and your socks on? You just be nude from, like, mm-hmm. below your the bottom of your shirt? No, do you see my abs? Your knees? Mm-hmm. The only thing I have to offer people is that mm-hmm. two-pack. I take yeah. my shirt off. First thing I do is take my shirt off. I get them in the house. I'm like, whoop, shirt it, off. It's so smooth and white. It's like a freshly opened. Careful if you're installing <laughs> cable adjustments. Huh? It's so yeah. smooth and white that it looks like a freshly opened tub of cream cheese. It, oh, <laughs> gross. It's nice and smooth. It is pretty smooth. <laughs> but I'm really, I'm embarrassed of my chest hair. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have like chest hair or, or i'm sure steve's looks like a pretty hairy man i know um some of us have yeah some. i've gone through phases i have chest hair it's short but mine's disgusting I because don't. it's fine like my head on my hair and it's straight so it falls straight down like like it, you ironed it's a waterfall it, like you it does. Comb it. or like you hair it all right uh, i will show you guys okay, because yeah, i love I you had see, a hard week okay so i want to see your cascading chest hair oh it's so short though i see nothing well, yeah, they're very thin. <laughs> no, there's 108 of them. Pull it back up. Yeah. Free beer. See, hold mm-hmm. on, free beer. Yeah. This is what people don't like about you. This is exactly what some people <laughs> do like about me. Pull it back up. <laughs> it kind of looks like a map of female body parts. Like this is oh. how babies are made. What are you seeing? But well, it's inverted, <clears throat> so your um, yeah. fallopian tubes and your ovaries are below yeah. where what? they would drop to. It's kind of mm-hmm. upside down. Yeah. What are you looking at? But yeah. your your little triangle hair patch looks mm-hmm. exactly like uh, where the eggs would drop to before they I don't were fertilized. Think you've ever seen a nude woman before? <laughs> I don't think so either. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what you're looking at. Keep talking. Smack. It's upside down. Did you just blow one of your stupid body pubes at me? <laughs> and it landed right on you. Oh my God! It's in. It's, no, it's you, on your lip. No. <laughs> he just licked his lips. Yeah. All right. Well, I have. I, I used to count my chest hairs because I thought it was like, no, you know, you're a man if you have chest hair. Well, well I'm not very manly. strike against me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't, I'm not very hairy. <laughs> you I, could shave that yeah, if it really stop, bothers stop you. Stop shaving it. You'll be more hairy. Stop shaving it? Or shave it, it all the way. Yeah. Um, It's trimmed because it gets this long. <laughs> You can't have six inches of chest hair so when it it's straight. So it doesn't an cover idea. any more of it, your body area? <laughs> it never curls. Wait, let yeah. it get really long. Okay. And then make a horse tail out of it and attach it to your B plug. <gasps> That's not a bad idea. I don't have one yet. A terrible yeah. idea. I've got a bucket full of them in my office, though. Mm-hmm. Bucket of plugs. Just waiting to just be needs tied the horse to tail. some chest hair. Yeah, I'm upset at Steve, though, for saying he couldn't see it. Well. Um, 
Uh, Bright guys, light washes things out, though. So. Time for Johnson Carpet One. Yeah, you do this. I'm, d- I'm gonna do in Granville. Steve. Yeah. You're go Presenting whack. the You're why go your bracket is busted. Yeah. Now, they've got a buy one, get one sale going on right now. You buy one room of carpet, get the second room free with select carpets. Also, Karistan's 90th anniversary. They have select Karistan carpet sa- styles on sale now. Visit them for details. Now, why your bracket is busted? Well, mostly it's busted because of last weekend, but last night, Kansas State beat Kentucky. Now, Kentucky, I bet a lot of people had. Probably. Because even though they weren't very good this year to Kentucky standards, they still are the name brand. Kentucky, a lot of people still had them making it. But they lose to Kansas State. And Loyola of Chicago beats Nevada. That's incredible. I cannot believe that in that, uh, in the Elite Eight, were they, would that be referred to as the regional semifinal in the uh, Elite Eight? It, that'd be the regional final. You're right. Okay, the Elite yeah, the Eight regional is the regional final. final. Right. That it's a 9 and 11. Yeah. That, is, that, is, that really is crazy. It's not really that crazy to get one or the other, but to have both of them that high of a seed. And, of course, the Wolverines absolutely throttled their opponents last night, the Aggies of Texas A&M. Oh, the Wolverines them so bad. could make it to the championship game and as a three seed, never play a team seeded lower than them. Never play a one or a two. Well, if they make it to the championship game, they will have done that. And then depending on who makes it to the championship game, if the other oh, side true. of the bracket comes up with, because Michigan will play ninth seeded, Florida State next, and then they would play the winner of number nine versus number 11. And if they won both of those games, they're in the championship game, which is incredible. On the other side wow. today, Villanova will take on West Virginia. That's a one and a five. Villanova, uh, for the eye test, was the best team I saw this year. Texas Tech and Purdue, that's a three versus a two. Now, I have Purdue winning that game, but that's when they had that giant Isaac Haas. He appears that he will not play a second in this game because of the dislocated yeah. and busted elbow so i bet texas tech will win that game yeah i had purdue in that one too i had uh in my elite eight i had villanova against purdue and then clemson so. and kansas had both of those too syracuse and yeah. duke boy this would be a lot more fun if we were going to watch michigan state and duke tonight yeah that would be a lot more be. fun yeah if they hadn't totally blown it uh but duke would duke probably wins that one boy i don't know how it's anything other than villanova duke Michigan and Kansas State in the Final Four. But I have no idea. I don't either. But Loyola would be But then awesome. again, uh, how, how can you say that when, uh, you know, somebody sent me a note on Twitter and said, who's going to win the games tonight? I got one out of four right. I got the Michigan game right. And even that one, that one was the one I was the least sure of. Well, it's easy. It's going to be Villanova, Purdue, Clemson, and Duke. That's who wins. That's tonight. Just, yeah, that's who I pick. Yeah. So that's who's winning. <laughs> Villanova, Texas Tech, Clemson, and Duke. Yeah, it's my my only way to still not actually win anything, but uh, finish higher <laughs> <laughs> in the office pool. Yeah. So that'll be uh, that'll be fun. It's not winning; it's who you beat. Well, that is a big part of it. And I'm annoyed I, and, I, and, that, I, and, um... and uh, really, I mean, as far as it goes, as you know, it's probably different for you because of my record, but for me, it's you. I want to beat you you because I know you know a lot about basketball and it's uh, so you're my benchmark. Mm -hmm. Plus, I don't I don't care about any of those people. (laughs) I I never see them. They're not in this building anymore. It's only us. They're at the North Campus, which is really nice. And We're at the South Campus, which Which is is the 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 classic campus. Um, I'm annoyed. This is one of those office pools where you're allowed to enter as many brackets as you want. And so the people that are winning are like so and so number three. And so and so two, so it's all the things that they're winning because they took they went against their initial hunch. It's a it's a little bit garbage to enter more than one bracket in in the same pool. Yep. If you ask me, you know when it's Sandy's dog. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That that's unnecessary. Mm -hmm. That is unnecessarily cutesy. (laughs) Um, We know it's your second bracket. Yeah. It's okay to have more than one bracket. Just call it. Sandy number two mm-hmm. doesn't have to be your dog. No one cares. <laughs> Stop it. It annoys me more than Mo Wagner not actually having a German accent. Yeah, 
That is a disappointing. Uh, it makes me so mad after a game. I didn't actually know that until, yeah. uh, the, well, I mean, because every year if Michigan was on the radio, I'd listen to it if right. I was in the truck or whatever. I very rarely turn on the television to watch because usually if I'm home and the kids are there, they don't care about watching it and they give me grief when I watch it. It's not worth it. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. But I'll listen to it in the car. And so, you know, I, you know Mo Wagner, Mo Wagner. And, uh, and so, yeah, the first time I heard a press conference was in, with him was this year. Like after a game I was watching and then when he spoke and he went, well, I thought we played pretty good today. And uh, like every so often there will be like one word that sounds a little bit. It, it sounds more like he just has a slight speech impediment on something than he actually has a German accent. Right. Cause that I want him, cause I want him to go. I thought we did a very good job out there on the court today. <laughs> and the fact that he's just like, well, I thought we played our defense. Wasn't that great, but uh, you know, he goes, come on, Mo <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> like, what's the point? Well, do you do what you want him to sound like? I'll do the post game. Okay. Michigan basketball winners tonight, 99 72 over the Aggies of Texas and them to a and M and they'll take on Florida state. In a Saturday night game, MVP of tonight's performance, the emotional catalyst for the performance, Mo Wagner joins us. 17 points, 11 rebounds. I don't know what he had. Uh, Mo, nice game tonight. Hello. <laughs> uh, Danke schön. Now, you um, you yeah. really set the emotional tone tonight, uh, Mo. Yeah, yeah. I, I, well, you know, I that's what I try to do. <laughs> But I'll tell you, it's a, it is a team effort, and uh, Muhammad Malahama Rahman, uh, well, I don't know, he do very well with the big slammy jammies. Uh, now, Mo, you uh, you faced quite a size matchup, Tyler Davis for Texas A&M and Robert Williams, a future NBA first-round draft pick, uh, two very good players. What did you do to combat that size? <laughs> I snuck into the locker room and I, I hit the cowboy boots. <laughs> Mo Wagner, everybody, the MVP of tonight's contest. Danke, Shane. <laughs> Thank you, Mo. Danke. <laughs> I hope they keep winning so we can do more post-game interviews with Mo. <laughs> I do, too. Uh, that is, uh, again, Johnson Carpet One. Your bracket is broken. They're very proud of their Mo Wagner interview. The Mo Wagner player of the game mm -hmm. from yeah. Johnson Carver one. Yeah. <laughs> the Mo Wagner yeah, player of the game. You caught yeah, yourself too. Yeah. The Mo yeah. Wagner and then player, I thought, player yeah, just keep game. going. Yeah. No one will say anything except for everyone. So he gets his own award. Yeah. It's really, it's better than what Luke Garrett got. <laughs> Led Zeppelin, Black Dog, yeah. 97.9 GRD.